The NASA co-principals this weekend retreat back to their separate home grounds after weeks of intense infighting that has left the opposition coalition thoroughly split. Wiper leader Kalnzo Musioka, ANC leader Mizalia Medavati, and Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula all repaired back to their localities for different activities with a common purpose and dilemma. Their mission, to report back and seek the concurrence of their supporters over their disillusionment with Rayla's newfound friendship with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Kalnzo will this weekend attend a Thanksgiving in Masi for Macaco's woman representative Joyce Kameen before proceeding to Katui West on Sunday to join Wiper candidate Edith Nyes for another church service and campaign final touches ahead of the by-election set for Monday. Rayla is expected to attend the burial of Justice Joseph von Gudo in Eugenia on Saturday. Last weekend he attended a series of activities in his Nyanza backyard where he was warmly received by his supporters, as he explained his change of heart. But that did not heal the rift in NASA, which is still reeling from Byrayla's solitary decision to work with Uru without consulting his co-principals. Although the three have accused Rayla of betrayal, all the co-principals have been struggling to seal the cracks and put on an appearance of unity. Their tongues are expected to loosen this weekend, when they address their home supporters. Mazalia is expected to attend some activities in Nandi before moving on to his Vihiga County, where he is scheduled to address several meetings. It was not immediately clear whether he would be joined by Wetangula, who is due to attend a church service at Christ the King Catholic Church in Bungoma Town on Sunday. A rally earlier planned for Bungoma to be attended by the three principals to underscore their unity following Wetangula's ouster as Senate Minority Leader was called off. Wetangula, the sole Ford Kenya senator, was dethroned from the minority leadership in a move orchestrated by ODM senators last week over a multiplicity of accusations. He was replaced by Siaia Senator James Orengo who is poised to be deputized by Kakunga Senator Cleofas Malala. Efforts by the co-principals to reverse the decision were thwarted on Thursday, when the senators stuck to their guns. Midavade boycotted the meeting, with his aide Kibazu Kabatesi saying it was futile. The move further worsened the tension between ODM and the coalition partners, soon after Rayla struck a deal to work with Uru, and whipped his party to support the pact. The other principals have been insisting on meeting Uru on their own but there is no indication whether he will accede. On Tuesday, Rayla's confidant Orango however appeared to pour cold water on the possibility of the other principals holding talks with Uru. For now I think many people being at the table for talks will confuse the project, let the two leaders meet then the rest will come later, said Orango. Ford Kenya Secretary General Leslie Simu, a key ally of Wetangula's, warned that the NASA marriage was not working because of ODM instigated wars which he said aim at wrecking NASA. It is better ODM leaves NASA than wrecking our parties. This NASA thing is not working. Some of us are wondering if this was part of the handshake, said the Tonger and MP, who was also the NASA Steering Committee co-chair, referring to Wetangula's removal. Luga Uri MP Ayub Savula said Rayla's actions showed that he has no respect for the Luiha community, adding that his popularity had dipped drastically. Rayla's has destroyed his support in the Luiha community completely after undermining the leadership of the community. The Luiha vote bloc was important in propelling Rayla. Without the Luiha in NASA there is no NASA, he told the star. ANC Secretary General Barak Muluka said the three co-principals would soon seek a summit meeting to formally ask CODM to disengage from the NASA coalition. The time the three principals will ask the fourth one to leave and move on is not far, said Muluka, warning ODM against what he termed the Big Brother syndrome. Should the co-principals push on with the agenda of isolating him, Rayla would have to deal with a potential backlash from the Western region. The three principals had planned the rally to express solidarity with Wetangula and rally the community around their alliance. But sources said they had decided to go slow on the agitation. They can meet as many times as they want. They will not shake Rayla and ODM support in this region, 
said Kakumga Governor Wycliffe Aparia, who has declared his own presidential ambitions. Yesterday Senator Malala warned that rallies could whip up tribal tensions and derail the agenda of healing, reconciliation and reforms. I want to urge Wetangula and Mazalia to support the handshake between President Uru and Rayla. That should be our focus for now, said the vocal ANC lawmaker. Asked if a Mazalia Wetangula Uneti could threaten Rayla's fortunes in Western, Malala termed Rayla an institution that cannot be brought down. He went on, they have tried that before and failed. We can't be derailed by any political activity in pushing for reforms. Syriza MP John Walyak, Jubilee, dismissed the initiative as moribund, saying both Wetangula and Mazalia have already lost their popularity significantly. They cannot have any impact. Whatever popularity they had has been lost because they seem not to be having any political network, Waluk told the star on the phone from Bungoma. He challenged the two to instead jump ship and join Jubilee to resuscitate their careers. Mateo's MP Godfrey Odanga admitted that should Mazalia and Wetangula forge their own path out of NASA, they could walk away with their supporters but added that would not whittle down Rayla's popularity. I would urge them to remain together and support Rayla's pact with Uru, because by that we will take the country forward. They should remain patient, strong and stay put. They won't benefit either if they pulled out and went their own way said the ODM lawmaker. NASA was Mazalia's idea, if he leaves who will he leave NASA to? He added. Political analyst Martin Andotti was apprehensive about Rayla's support in western Kenya remaining intact once Wetangula and Mazalia launched joint vigorous rallies to galvanize support in their backyards. With Mazalia and Wetangula working together, that would weaken Rayla significantly he told the star in a phone interview yesterday. And Dottie said Rayla had caught Wetangula and Mazalia flat-footed and doubted the duo's financial muscle to sustain an anti-Rayla drive. The rallies by Wetangula and Mazalia would also require resources that could be a bit of a challenge, he said. Supremacy turf wars between Mazalia and Wetangula are also likely to be renewed as each seeks to navigate their own political future without Rayla who will be the boss of the other, who will report to who?" said Andati. Fate has united Wetangula and Madhavati, who have waged bitter wars in the past. Only last month, Wetangula dismissed Kata Secretary General Francis Atwele's endorsement of Mazalia as the Mulemb community spokesman. In the 2013 presidential election, the Western region overwhelmingly voted for Rayla despite Mazalia being in the race for State House on the UDF ticket. Mazalia had acrimoniously parted ways with Rayla, citing a lack of internal democracy in ODM, before making a comeback as his chief campaigner in 2017. It seems like history is being repeated. Atwele's cheap gimmicks with a handful of imposters and masqueraders will not solve the Mulemb unity issues. He is a turncoat we should ignore, Wetangula had said. We want to go back to our people and give them information on the recent developments in NASA. Wetangula, Mazalia and Kalnzo will attend the Bungoma rally, Ford Kenya Deputy Party leader Boni Kalwal told the star on the phone.